Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be trying, this is the first video on my channel in 2022 where we are going to be trying fall secret menu items. I'm very excited. We, I mean, I'm planning on doing a bunch of these videos. Um, I actually just sat here for the last 45 minutes ordering them on the mobile app. You guys would be so proud of me. Uh, I, yeah, wait, someone's staring at me. So give me one second. They like just drove past like full eye contact the whole way. I think we're good. I think they were just lost. They were trying to figure out what was going on. But I just ordered through the mobile app. Woo! Yeah, I know. Um, it's a rare occasion for me. But truly, they are so busy today that I felt horrible going to the drive-thru and doing it all. And there was one drink that I was not able to get. But I was like, you know what? I'll just pick a different one. And we will do that one the next time. Because it, um, it asked to put graham cracker crusts on. And I... There is no option for that on the app. So I was able to pick drinks that I could use through the app. That way they don't hate me and you guys don't judge me for going to the drive-thru. Um, usually I try to only go to the drive-thru whenever it's like not a crazy packed day. So we're going to give it some time. It says that in about six minutes my drinks will be ready. So I'm going to go. I'm going to start my car. There we go. And we're going to go drive over to... Oh, it's beeping because I don't want my seatbelt on. We're going to go drive over uh, and just see if the drinks are ready. It's still saying it's going to take another like three minutes or so. So we're just going to chill in here. Um, I, oh, you know what I can do in the meantime? I can tape my boxes. I've been meaning to do this forever. This is my setup right here. And then I put like a little table on top of it. Sorry, this is probably so loud whenever I go like this. Whoa, Starbucks ASMR. Just kidding, that will never happen. Ever, do not even get your hopes up about that one. I just want it to be taped together so it's like, doesn't fall apart and I don't have to balance it anymore. If it's just all taped together, I feel like it's gonna be a very, st a sturdy boy. That's the goal. Guys, if you guys are watching this at this very moment, please comment down below, sturdy boy. Just to confuse people. That's my favorite, is when people click on my videos and they see that every single person is commenting one thing and they're just so confused. And then after they watch the video, they get it. But that's like my favorite thing, is just confusing the heck out of people. Spell it however you'd like. All right, so we got these nice and taped together. Now we just need to tape it to the other one. There we go. It is all nice and taped up and now I'll just have to do this. Boom. I could tape this too. I could. I don't know. It's nice and taped though. I will take it. Let me go run in, go grab the drinks and I will be right back. Okay guys, so we have the drinks. I got the thumbnail, we're good to go. I don't know what order these drinks are in. I need to figure that out really fast. Let's see. But I am really excited. So this one right here, so this is the caramel pumpkin macchiato. I will say this one looked a lot prettier when it was at the store. Like I said, these took so long. Like it was a 25 minute process from the moment I ordered my drinks to the moment I got my drinks. And so each one of these kind of came out about five minutes apart. This one looked like this whenever it first came out. It was super pretty. I wanted to make sure that I got a photo of it when it first came out because it did look really pretty. It kind of has this like really cool like orange. I don't know if it's gonna come off on camera, but it kind of had like this like orangey tint to it. And the other ones look amazing. Like this one right here is straight up orange. Like I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but this is an orange drink, which is really stinking cool, especially like when you look at the, I don't know if you guys are able to see it, but it is orange, I promise you. It's actually pretty freaking cool. I am a little afraid that these two right here on the ends are going to taste the same, so I want to separate them just because they pretty much have the same ingredients. The description on this one says, are you a fan of pumpkin flavored drinks but prefer them cold? That means you have good taste. This pumpkin pie frappuccino is a popular an icy alternative to the iconic pumpkin spice latte because I don't know about you guys I personally do not love the taste of a cold 
pumpkin spice. Like, that's just not me. I don't like it. Um, I typically will only get them if they are hot. I also especially do not like the pumpkin spice frappuccino. So this one right here, so it is made, it starts off with a pumpkin spice frappuccino. And then it says, request a cinnamon dolce syrup. And you just add one, because this is a tall and then ask the barista to blend in cinnamon dolce sprinkles and a dollop of whipped cream and then finish it off with some cinnamon dolce toppings. But it says if you're looking for a crunch, like the, if you're looking for the crunch factor um, of like the pie crust, then throw in a scoop or two of chocolate chips. So that is what we did with this one. Ah! Okay, again, I have too much energy. I'm so sorry. I will tone it down. Hold on, we're gonna do that again. Okay, it's super pumpkin-y. Does it taste like pumpkin pie? Okay, it's super, super good. I wanna throw that out there. 10 out of 10. Does it taste like pumpkin pie? No, I don't think so. It, okay, it does not taste like the pie crust of pumpkin pie, but it does taste like the actual, like, the soft part of the pumpkin pie, you know what I'm talking about? That I will give it to, I, I will give it to them. That, it does kind of taste like that. I kind of wish I wouldn't have added the chocolate chips, like the Java chips. I did it because this says if you want, like, the crunch from the crust to do it, but I kind of wish I wouldn't have because without the Java chips, because I think that's what's throwing it off. It's kind of weird and random to just have Java chips in this. But I feel like if I would not have added that, this I would give it, yes, it does taste like a pumpkin pie. But it's something with those Java chips. So get it, as I said, to get it, but do not add the Java chips. And yes, it will taste like a pumpkin pie. I definitely agree with that one. But if I do go ahead and rate this, Honestly, yeah, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, that is delicious. Okay, I cannot take as many sips as I just took of that one. I feel like I just took like nine sips of it, but it's just really delicious. Also, those darn Java chips. I hate adding Java chips to anything because then I get it all throughout my teeth and it's just annoying. We're gonna get some breeze up in here because it is a toasty day. But now I'll give you guys the temperature check. Temperature check for the day. It's actually partly cloudy, but it is 84 degrees. The next one right here, this one is the butterscotch one. And this is the orange drink, which I think is so cool. So the little caption says, Starbucks unveils the butterscotch latte and matching frappuccino every year around Christmas time. But that doesn't mean you can't cheat the system for a sip a little early. Though this drink is just about, though this drink isn't just about pumpkin, it still uses pumpkin spice sauce and thus means that you can only get it around this time of year. And so to order this, it says ask for a vanilla bean frappuccino and then load it with, and so it depends on what size you get. So if you get a tall, you're gonna get one pump of each one of these. If you get a grande, you're gonna get two pumps of each one. And if you get a venti, you're gonna get three pumps of each one of these. But you're gonna add um, pumpkin sauce, caramel syrup, and hazelnut, and then whipped cream, and then drizzle a bunch of caramel on top. I don't even know if it looks, like I don't even know if it tastes good, but I can tell you that it looks really good. 100%, that is butterscotch, two eight tea. What are those like butterscotch candies? That's exactly what this tastes like. 10 out of 10. I don't want to give it a 10 out of 10 for taste because I don't love the taste of butterscotch, but I got to give it a 10 out of 10 for, uh, maybe I should lower the rating. But the thing is that you're only going to order the butterscotch frappuccino if you know that it tastes like butterscotch. So that's why I kind of want to give that a 10 out of 10 because it tastes exactly like how it sounds. Dang, if you like butterscotch, you guys need to get this. Now for the third drink. This is the one that I'm really excited about because I could be wrong, but it kind of seems like this could very easily be an every single day drink. So the little description for this one right here says, 
With just a couple alterations to your beloved go-to macchiato, you could be sipping you could be sipping on your own seasonal coffee without venturing too far from your comfort zone. Begin with your standard caramel macchiato and then substitute the vanilla syrup because fun fact caramel macchiatos are not made with caramel syrup they're made with vanilla syrup so substitute that for pumpkin sauce and then at the end just ask them to sprinkle some uh, pumpkin spice topping on the top and there you go that is going to be your pumpkin caramel macchiato or caramel pumpkin macchiato whatever you want to call it um, let's go ahead and give it a try I just love the ombre of this Hmm, we're gonna stir. I'm not gonna lie, from my taste buds that I just had from that one little sip, kind of just tastes like a regular caramel macchiato, but I also only really got the espresso, so. We're gonna stir. Okay, we're gonna try that again. That one's a little bit of a bummer. Hold on, maybe with a straw. Hmm. It really only has, the, it tastes like a normal caramel macchiato with the tiniest, tiniest little taste of the pumpkin. I gotta be honest, I'm not quite sure that one's worth it actually. Um, maybe if you wanna spice up your own caramel macchiato, absolutely. It wasn't like a game changer for me. Also, let me check how much that one cost because I think it kind of made this one a little pricey. Yeah, that one was, oh no, no I'll add up the cost. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this one's not worth it. This one was $5.75. You could save like $1.50 if you just skip the whole pumpkin thing. Just stick with your normal caramel macchiato. Uh, I'm gonna honestly give this like a four out of 10 only because I don't really think it did very much. Like yes, it's kind of cool to like spice it up, have a little bit of pumpkin in it. I don't think it was worth it. Unless you want to maybe add more than one shot. I just did one pump of the pumpkin syrup. Maybe try it with a couple shots of pumpkin syrup and maybe you'll have better luck than I do. Because to me this just tastes like a normal caramel macchiato. The very last one I am very hopeful for. So it is called the Fall Mash Up Frappuccino. Okay, I have a confession. So I was like looking at, so I just read that description and then I looked at the label and I was like, wait, this isn't the same thing. They didn't add the caramel drizzle, blah, blah, blah. It was because I definitely didn't order the pumpkin mashup. I'm so sorry. I actually ordered the pumpkin cheesecake frappuccino. So that's my bad. So what this one right here says is why bake a whole pumpkin cheesecake when Starbucks can get the goodness to you via a straw? Okay, whoever writes these descriptions are hilarious. Begin with a pumpkin spice frappuccino. Next, add white mocha syrup and cinnamon dolce syrup. Okay, got it. Um, and that is what I ordered, so that's my bad. All right, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Hmm. That's pretty spot on, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's missing something with the cheesecake though. But that is actually like, I'm just imagining going to the Cheesecake Factory, getting a pumpkin cheesecake, and it would taste pretty similar. That's actually pretty crazy. I don't think it's like exactly like a pumpkin cheesecake, but I totally see the resemblance, yeah. Would I ever get this one again? Honestly, no, not at all. I absolutely would not get that again, but I see the resemblance when it comes to the pumpkin cheesecake. Wow, I feel like I'm like drowning over here in Starbucks drinks. Yeah, I do see the resemblance. I, solely on taste, I gotta give that one like a four out of 10. I don't think it tastes that great. 
if I had to rate it based on the name, an 8 out of 10. Um, honestly, if I had to go and rate them all in the order in which they are, like, like which ones are my favorite, it's probably this, truly. Because this one was really good. I mean, once you take out the Java chips, like, it tastes just like a pumpkin pie. This one, I don't really love the taste of butterscotch, but I gotta give it credit. It is a butterscotch frappuccino. This, it could just very easily be an every single day drink, and this one I would probably never get again, truly. But it does taste like a pumpkin cheesecake. So, I would give this video a like I would give it a good rating like we crushed it I would say it was pretty good I'm sorry I didn't get that fall mashup but if you guys are not subscribed please hit the subscribe button because we are doing videos Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday of this month we're doing a lot of videos we're doing five videos like a week we just crazy like that's insane like what other food youtubers doing that actually maybe there are other food youtubers that are doing that I don't know, but uh, I feel like we're crushing it. I'm not super stressed, which I thought that I was going to be. We're actually doing pretty good. So subscribe, also comment down below any other drinks you guys want me to try. I will definitely try to do the fall mashup in a video soon, probably in my next fall secret menu video. But man, guys, it's hot, it's hot. I gotta, I gotta turn my car on. I love you guys and I will see you all later. Bye.